Ah, push truck drivers. All think they're comedians, Greg. Yeah, they definitely are. I've seen some of their trucks. I understand why they're into comedy. What an incredible bunch of people. Look at these guys. Can I get a hell yeah or something like that? Then? Yeah. That was pretty average. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. That was almost like United States Marines. That was very good. Greg, how many of you guys got in the Knoxville Push Truck Club? I got 28 active drivers right here tonight. And for the remaining of the 410 Nationals, we got one driver that's overseas right now fighting for our country. He's usually here, but he's been deployed right now. I'll thank him for his, for his service on behalf yes, of, of all of us. Look at this bunch. Like, we've got Chevys, we've got Fords, we've got Dodges, we've got pretty well everything. What's the, what's the most unusual push truck we have? I'd say Dave's truck here. Did, so, did someone say Jeep before? Did someone call that Jeep? Not the nicest truck yeah. out here. It comes in clean, he leaves dirty, he's not afraid to work. And it looks just as good today as it started. They're all kind of blocking it. Can you just step aside for just two secs and let me see that gorgeous piece there? Have a look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful. It's kind of one of my favorites. Here comes Doug Clark, everybody. Put your hands together for Doug Clark, everybody. Hey, Doug, Push, push, Doug, push. Now, you can get back in that group now. Come forward to me, boys. Come be closer. Come on up. Mate, it's incredible. I'm... I'm being light-hearted about this, but it's incredible what you guys do, and none of it could happen without you. I mean, how these guys are committed. Very committed. I've got 28, 30 of the best trucks around. These guys, I've got Illinois Dave here from Illinois. Illinois Dave from Illinois. We got uh, Big John, Mobile, Alabama, here year after year. These guys are we're just like a big family. Yeah. We all stick up for each other and come back year after year and just love it. Wouldn't have it any better. I've seen gas prices lately. I've seen Horrible. tire prices. Uh, there's a lot of fin financial pressure on these guys. like, uh, And they're all doing it out of love, I would imagine. Yes. Why? We love our sport. We love what these sprint car drivers, it ain't nothing for them to come up and say, hey, thanks guys, we love doing what you're doing for us. We appreciate it, they appreciate it. And we just, we love the world of racing. Do any of them get a little bit starstruck? They're like, kind of like, wow, cool, I'm pushing Larson or I'm pushing Kinzer or I'm pushing Shots or? There's a few of them, you know, yeah. It's always cool to push them guy, but at the night end, you gotta push the first car you come to because we're all here doing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what are the, what are the hard parts about this job? I'm trying to keep everything on a kind of a time schedule, yep. I suppose. Chris Duncan, you know, he gets done doing what he does on the track. He hollers at me on the radio and says, Greg, it's track's yours. Well, I just, I try to get it ready in a timely manner so we can go race them. So, come a little bit closer, you lot. Has anybody ever crashed into the wall packing? <laughs> Keep on coming forward, you're right. So, boys, you love it, right? Why, why do you do this? Someone tell me. Free beer? Right yeah, because you love sprint car racing, right? Fair enough. <laughs> well, I see you all parked up watching the drive-in uh, Lear last night, so... I mean, um, do you ever get starstruck? Are you ever like, holy cow, I'm, you know, I'm pushing McKenna Hassey, or I'm pushing Kyle Larson, or I'm... No? Yes, They're all just... Oh, not announcers. Wow. I see what you did there. Okay, so okay, so there are little like superstitious things, and you guys always have to wait for the signal for the drivers, right? And the worst thing that can happen is if something goes wrong and you run over a car, right? That's I would imagine that's a a flag on that play that you never want. Wow. So what's the best part about this job? Camaraderie. Yep. People, camaraderie. Yep. Cool. Uh, yeah, and you get to listen to this guy all night. That's got to be a bonus, right? <laughs> Who's been doing this longer than 20 years? Holy cow! Who's been doing it longer than 30 years? Far out. Who's been doing it since the Nationals started? Oh, well, okay. Well, close enough. We've got a couple here over 40 years. Over 40 years? We've got one, two, three. Wow. 
for for at least over 40 years. Thank you for your service, gentlemen. Uh, without you, no BS, this show does not even happen. And I hope you always remember that, that we appreciate it. And I love seeing these trucks just roll out there because then you know it's freaking showtime when you boys roll out. The other stuff that happens afterwards, you know, meh, whatever. <laughs> I just want to say thank you on behalf of all of us fans for, uh, for what you do, Greg, because your boys out here, you're my boys, Blue. You go <laughs> Don't go and get pushy. Go and pack some racetracks and thank you for your service, boys. On the count of three, I want a hell yeah. One, two, three. Hell yeah. Listen to that. Thank you, Wade. Cheers, boys. Can't ask for a better group of oh, guys. Oh, man, what a great bunch of guys. All right, go get pushy. Thanks, See you, guys.